Now let's have a look at a couple of models. The first model I'm going to have a look at is this heatsink example. You can see in front of me we've got the heat sinks. It's got a couple of pins coming out um, from the bottom. And on the, if you look at the left hand side, we've got the aluminium, so we can have, we've actually got our material property. Uh, we've got a couple of boundary conditions, so ambient temperature, convection coefficient, and also the heat flow. And on the right hand side, we can see we've actually got a graph for the maximum temperature over time. Straight away, this tells us we're looking at a transient simulation, and we can actually switch this over to steady state if we wanted to. What I'd like to do in this particular case is to re-engineer these pins and have a bit of a play with the, with the different designs possible. So I'm just going to cut them away and start from scratch. First thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start by creating the pin. I'm going to offset it from this edge over here, 5 by 5 mil. I'm going to create a 5 by 5 mil pin. What I can do with that pin is I can pull it up. Or if I wanted to, I can say select that surface and pull it up by a certain certain amount. Right? Now that I've got the pin, you can see on the right hand side I've made a couple of changes to the design. And I can see how the maximum temperature is actually changing. I can then start to make a couple of patterns from this. Now I actually want to make a 2x2 a two two pattern. I'm going to start off with something that's relatively coarse. So it's just going to be a 3x3. Three three. I can have a look at it and as soon as I've made that change, the actual geometry updates. And on the right hand side you can see that I've gone from a maximum temperature of 124 degrees all the way down to around 80 degrees. I can then start to investigate these pins even more. What happens if I've got five across the top? How does my, my temperature change? What if instead of three, I've got say two across this? You know, I can have a look and understand how exactly changing all of these uh, conditions affects my maximum temperature. What if instead of 40, I've got 80 watts? And straight away you can see exactly how this, um, this change to the boundary condition actually affects my design as well.